personal finance practice problem using Excel. Mutual fund contingent deferred sales load. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to it, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank sheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below. Example, practice blank, example, answer key. Let's look at it now. Information on the left, calculations on the right. We're imagining we're investing in a mutual fund, thinking about the fees that might be related to it doing the calculation for a contingent deferred sales load which we'll talk about a bit more in a second the second tab a practice tab having some pre-formatted sales on the right so you can work through the practice problem with less excel for formatting the third tab is where we're going to do some excel formatting in the blank tab if you don't have any of this that's okay because you can open up a fresh excel worksheet with a blank sheet you can lay down your baseline formatting add the data on the left hand side if that's what you're doing the baseline formatting i would lay down would go something like this i would select the entire sheet possibly with the triangle up top right click the selected area format the cells within it and then i usually start off with currency negative numbers being bracketed and red no dollar sign no decimals that's the starting point for me typically i'm not going to hit okay because i already have this i'm just going to x out of it and then add your data on the left hand side expanding the cells as needed and changing the format of the cells as needed as with the percent go into the number tab adding a percent adding a decimal make a skinny c column and then we're good to go so we're imagining we're investing in a mutual fund again. So that's a little bit different than investing in individual stocks. The mutual fund pooling the investments together, having a fund manager allocate the investments over the securities that are within the mutual fund in accordance with the rules of the mutual fund. Now we want to be able to think about the fees related to that. We might have fees and you can think of them as basically three categories of fees you got the front end load which might be like a commission that would be involved you got the fees that might be like an annual type of fee that would be involved for the maintenance of the fund that would be the fund manager uh, generally being paid for uh, primarily and just uh, processing the the functioning of the fund the allocation of the fund and so on that could vary uh, with whether the fund is actively managed or whether the fund is passively managed like with an index and there could be funds on the tail end which could be for and those could be like temporary for example as well meaning you get charged when you're exiting or selling out of the fund and those are the ones that we're going to be concentrating on in here so if we're investing in, in a mutual fund for example we're going to imagine we're putting fifty five thousand dollars into a mutual fund we're imagining there's no front end load which is basically the commission the front end load the, the charge you might get when you put the money in might be there if you're dealing with like a broker but if you buy the mutual fund directly then you might not have a front end load which could be good you want to be aware of that and then we've got this contingent deferred sales load for withdrawing during the first year so in other words you might have a situation where basically if you put the money in and you take it out in a short period of time they charge you a fee because you took it out within a short period of time so you want to be aware of that when you're putting the money in is there gonna am i gonna need the money in a short period of time or am i pretty confident that i can leave it in there through that time horizon before i take the money out and then of course we can consider the fee that would be related to us pulling the money out early which of course now isn't on the front end it's basically on the back end when we're when we're selling the the stock at that point or selling the mutual fund and withdrawals for the first year we're going to imagine that we're taking out within the first year eight thousand eight hundred dollars of the fifty five thousand that we put in and therefore of course we're going to be charged with the fee the other fee we might have is just simply the maintenance fee and that might be an annual fee that might be dependent upon the investment that we have and we'll talk more about that later so let's go ahead and just calculate this if we're going to take that eight thousand eight hundred out uh, before we clear the the date where we might not be uh, charged for it if we pull it out early we're going to have the fee fairly straightforward calculation at that point once we understand what the fee is 
So the contingent, we're going to call it the contingent deferred sales load. Now, of course, it's contingent in the case, in this case, because it's contingent upon us pulling the money out before a certain deadline. And therefore, we're, we're hitting the fee as opposed to if we went past the deadline, possibly then we would not be subject to the fee. That's the, the contingent component. It's deferred because it's not upfront. It's, it's happening when we're pulling the money out. And so the sales load or the fee. So let's go ahead and make this black and white. I'm going to go up top, home tab, font group, bucket drop down, making that black and then white on the lettering. And we're just gonna say the amount that we drew out, not the investment, of course, that's how much we put in. That's not what's totally in the whole fund in and of itself. That's our portion of the investment that we put into the mutual fund. We took out the draws uh, of 8,800 draws, withdrawals for the first year. We'll keep it there. This equals the 8,800 that we took out early and therefore we're subject to the fees. So we got the fee percent, I will just call it, and that's equal to the 4.5%. Let's make that a percent up top, going from the home tab, number group, percentifying it, and then making a decimal on it here. We're gonna do an underline font group and underline with the underline, and that's gonna be then the contingent, we'll just call it contingent deferred sales load i gotta make this cell d a little bit larger i'm just gonna double click between d and e double click boom it does it for us we're in e4 e4 is going to be equal to 8800 e2 times the 4.5 percent in e3 enter about 396 let's go ahead and make a decimal see if there's any pennies involved here i want to know how many pennies down to the penny no pennies at least there so there we go let's make this uh, blue and bordered as is has been our custom we're going to select these up to the home tab font group bucket drop down i usually use that blue if you don't have it you can go to the more colors or you can use another color i'm in the standard wheel i'm going to pick that blue right there that's the one that's the one you're the one wyatt i'm going to go up top home tab font group that's from tombstone i don't know why i have a tombstone quote on it but you're the one why that's when his brother's dying any case we'll hit the drop down put some borders around it and there we go so what we want to have an understanding of are the types of fees that might be involved we want to think about is there an upfront fee is there a commission fee can i avoid the upfront fee if possible uh is there a fee if i pull the money out early how painful might that fee be can i avoid that fee by putting money in that i can keep it in there beyond that fee and then of course what's basically the management fees which might be like the annual fees for the standard maintenance of the mutual fund